Hello everyone and welcome. If you are here, that means you just got the new Kamado Joe Jr. and you wanna see how you set it up and how you do your first cook. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna set that mine and uh, I'm gonna do the first cook and the first burn in. Uh, this is all the parts it came, it just is brand new. It just arrived yesterday, but uh, I'm doing the first cook today, as you can see. We got the firebox right here with the uh, fire ring. We got the, the fire grate right here, cast iron, nice and shiny, not, not for long. We got the diffuser plate right here. We got the grate rack, this is gonna hold the diffuser plate and, uh, and also the grate right there. We got a grate, 13 inches diameter right here, and it's got a little uh, door hinge right there. And uh, the daisy wheel, this is a control, the control right here, the top, it goes on top, it's also cast iron. Uh, we're gonna, and this is the grid right here, with the little vent. Looks very good and shiny when it's brand new. Right there. Well, right, we're just gonna put all those parts inside, and uh, I'm gonna show you how you do that. And also, we're gonna do a fire, uh, build a fire, do a burning, and uh, also first cook. All right, let me set this down, and uh, let's put the, uh, all this together. All right, first you want to open it like this. That's obvious, right? All right, so uh, first I'm going to do this big fire uh, firebox right here. The easiest way I found for this to put it down, I'm just going to line up this uh, this notch right here with the hole that's with the lower vent. The easiest way to do this, I just put my fingers inside like this, and just lay it down, just like that. That's the easiest way to do it, so you don't want to drop it because it's going to crack really fast. And now I'm just going to line up that hole with the vent right here, with the little door. And uh, also you want to put it as center as possible. There we go. Next I'm going to do this fire uh, fire uh, ring. It's got three notches in top, as you can see. I'm just going to do the single one towards the back and the other two in the sides. This one, same thing, I'm just going to try to grab it like that and just lower it down nice and easy. There we go. I'm trying to put this as center as possible with the grill so all my, my grate is going to sit like this. Alrighty. Next we have this, uh, this goes on the bottom, that's where the your charcoal sits. As you can see, nice and shiny and brand new. I have another Kamado joint, this is all busted and rusted but it's okay. Now I'm just going to drop this down here. Again, be careful because that thing is very heavy and you don't want to crack the ceramics. Alrighty, right there. And uh, now I'm going to, I'm not going to put any, that's all for now, just missing the grates, but I'm going to put some charcoal and fire it up. But before we do that, I'm going to, let me see if I can, there we go. I'm going to install uh, the, the daisy wheel, this goes on top. He's got the right thing come out of Joe, trying to center this with the, with the gauge, just like this. And then push it down, you can look inside there, he's got to make sure there's no gap in here. There we go. Alright, set. This is a little bit loose, I'm going to try to tighten this uh, little screw, maybe it's going to be more sturdy. But, uh, yep. Alrighty, I guess now it's time to add some charcoal and uh, do the first burn. All right, let me get the charcoal and everything and be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. I have some lump charcoal over here. I'm using this uh, just to carry out the lump right there. And that's a lot of lump, but it's okay. Oh, let me try to zoom in a little bit more. There we go. I got nice big pieces of lump right there. Trying to arrange this. Probably I put way too much, but it's okay. It's first burn. Right here in the center, I'm gonna leave a gap and now I'm gonna put the fire starter just like that. I have my torch. Look at that, nice and shiny. Come on, go in there. Oh, trying to light that up right there as well. All right, now I'm just gonna leave everything open, bottom bend fully open. I'm gonna leave the lid open like this till. Uh, it's gonna have a little bit of uh, it's gonna catch on fire a little bit then we're gonna shut everything down 
and uh, I mean shut this down like this and open everything fully like this so we have nice airflow all right I guess uh, that should do it right there okay I guess I'm gonna put the grate with the rack in so it's gonna get a nice uh, seasoning in there just like that and also this will uh, put the grate on the second level like this You can do like this, or if you want to be closer to the fire, you can just put it down there on the firebox and it's going to be very low and you have a nice hot sear. I'm just going to use this uh, setting for now because I'm going to cook some pork chops. Alrighty. And that one right there. Let's see. Perfect right there. So you have the little door right here. Bam, just like that. Alrighty, we're gonna use this some other day. This for more, for, uh, it's, it's made more for low and slow. So we're gonna smoke something else on a different day. I'm just gonna set this aside. Oh, right there. Okay. He also came with this uh, little tool right here for grab the grates up, and uh, also this one right here to scoop the ashes out when you have ashes from the bottom hole all right let me see if I can zoom out and show you overalls again tiny little grill as you can see this grill is it's pretty good for uh, you know two persons oh look at this right here this is the, the big Joe right here this grill right here massive look at that it's for party I guess I'm gonna focus on this one today. Alrighty. I guess I'm gonna shut everything down like this. Bam. This fully open right there. That fully open right there. You want to have a nice, good, let's say 500 degrees. You want the ceramics to get hot so you're gonna burn everything off. All the chemicals from the factory and everything. You just wanna burn everything off. Once everything is burned off, we're gonna lower the, the temperature probably, like uh, around 400, 450. And then we're gonna do a nice uh, nice cook with those pork chops, barbecue pork chops. All right, stay tuned. I'll be right back when the fire is ready. This is around uh, three minutes in. Look at this. This little grill is very efficient, look at that. It heats very fast as well compared to my other grill. This is a quick update. This uh, is about 10 minutes in. That's how it looks like, uh, about 10 minutes in. Uh, the, dome, the dome right here got very hot, but the base is like super cold yet. So uh, we're just gonna wait for the temperature to to rise over here on the base as well and uh, also wait for the temperature to be stable around uh, 400 degrees then we're gonna do our first cook but uh, so far yeah that's how everything looks like 10 minutes in after the initial uh, fire already quick update again 15 minutes in look at that temperature 450 already let's uh, let's take a look inside really quick as you can see, I put this uh, top vent halfway open, the one on the bottom still uh, full open. Look at that. So much heat over here. Right there. Okay. Now I'm just waiting for the base to get hot as well. And uh, once the base gets hot, I'm gonna wait another 10 minutes. And then we're gonna do the pork chips. Right now, everything is uh, burning off. It should, it's like super hot in there. Oh boy. Alrighty. Okay, we, we're ready. It's been around 30 minutes. Everything should be burned off by now. Uh, let's take a look. The temperature is showing uh, 500 degrees and still rising. I just put the bottom vent on halfway and uh, the top on halfway. Let's take a look. 
Oh, look at this. Now I'm gonna get the onion just like this. And uh, I'm gonna brush everything like that. This is uh, what I use instead of oil and a uh, metal brush sometimes, but this got some nice uh, inside juices uh, for high heat temperature, so let's see. Should do it right there. Now it's time for the real food right here. Oh, sorry about that. I got the chops right here. Let's see how many we can fit in this uh, little grill. One, two. Smells really good in here. Three, four, and maybe one more. Let's see. And five right there, perfect. Five pork chops. Yes, let's, uh, let's see, right there. All right, let me close this uh, dome right there. Open the vents halfway. I'll be back in uh, two, three minutes. We're gonna check on that. All right, this is around four or five minutes later. I wish it was more light over here. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look. Definitely gets a little bit of char right there, but definitely needs more time. Look at that. Ooh. Smells really good in here. Nice. Well, definitely work. I have five uh, pork chops over here. That's enough uh, for three people, I guess. Look at this. All right. Those chop will be done uh, very soon. Look at that, cooks very good. All right, thanks for watching, and um, that's how you do assembly on the new Kamado Joe and uh, Junior, and also the first burn in, and also the first cook right here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna eat good. All right, thanks for watching. Please uh, watch my other videos and subscribe. See you in the next one.